So in the past couple of hours, Chainlink has had this nice pump towards the upside and many people are wondering is it too late to get into Chainlink right now and what are the important levels to look out for. So right now we'll also talk about my current expectations and also the possible bullish and bearish scenarios that may arise in the immediate short term and pay close attention and watch this video until the very end because I will also give you guys one warning I have for the chain link price so you don't want to miss what i have to say right now in today's video so let's jump straight into the charts right now and we are inside the four early time frame and as you guys can see in the past couple of hours chain link has had this nice pump but if you zoom in closer into the charts right now you guys can see that chain link or the chain link price is right now facing resistance right here as reflected by this rejection point right here so yeah there is currently resistance at this red line and this is at around 18 18.1 dollars so look out for this and be warned that buying chain link right now when the price is trading literally at a resistance level is very very risky because um there is a high chance we could see the price get rejected and move back towards the downside right here so be aware of this possible scenario now what is or what are the good levels to enter into chain link so first off i'll be talking about the levels right now so um yeah First off, you would like to wait for a dip for Chainlink, ideally towards this um, recent swing high we have formed inside the 4 hourly time frame. This is at around $15.8 and I believe that this is going to be a good entry if you would like to ride um, Chainlink. But if we do see Chainlink break above resistance right here, then that would also be a good time to enter into Chainlink in my personal opinion because if we do zoom out into the weekly time frame you guys can see that if we do break above this resistance at 18.1 dollars there is essentially no more resistance left from here and there is a ton of space right here a ton of room for growth because the next major resistance is at 24.7 dollars and at 27.5 dollars so these are the next major resistance levels essentially this green zone we have right here just above so right now why am i saying that right now is a bad it's a bad um choice to get into chain right here because we are actually trading literally below or a cl close to a resistance level a good entry level would be once we do see chain link break above resistance and flip this to support that would be a good entry but right now entering right here is a risky idea because you're essentially catching a falling knife from here because as you guys can see we're right we're right now having a dip for chain link and this dump or this dip may continue until we do touch this recent swing high at around 15.8 dollars that is why I'm, I'm giving guys an idea or a warning to, that it's going to be very very risky to enter right now of course if you're here for the long term the prices we're at right now is very very cheap and it's a good it's a good deal but if you are here in the short term entering like i've said right here is risky because we are literally below a key resistance level and you would want to ideally wait for a break above resistance before entering or you would want to wait for a deeper pullback ideally towards this previous swing high but if we were talking about my long-term view for Chainlink, I am, of course, very, very bullish for the price in the long term. And as the bull run comes for the entire crypto market, I am obviously expecting higher prices for Chainlink and also the entire crypto market. I believe that we will see Chainlink sooner as the bull run comes. We will see Chainlink smash past this all-time high right here at 53.4 dollars so yeah if you guys would like to learn on how to make a hundred dollars a day watch this video on the screen right now